Alright guys, what's up? This is just a review video for you guys for Custom Firmware 6.60 uh, Light ME 1.8. This is also a review, review for Permanent Custom Firmware ME 1.8 on 6.60 because everything is the same. It's just that this is flashed for the PSP 2000 version 2, 3000 and Go models and the Permanent is for the 1000 and 2000 version 1 models. So I'm just going to go over the firmware real quick. <clears throat> System updates. Uh, there is no custom update server for this f custom firmware. All these settings are pretty much the same. The pro settings, I don't have the um, ME settings installed, but if you want to install the ME uh, settings, you can go ahead and do that. And you can go, it's, um, I forget what it's called, it's something uh, Ultimate VSH or something like that. Anywho, um, everything here is pretty much the same. Digital comics are available, and also your photos are normal. Music is pretty much normal, video is normal, game, um, pretty much all the same shit. If we go down here, you can see the installers, all that fun stuff. It reads ISOs and CSOs, emulators work perfectly fine. Um, network, all the network capabilities are here, including Skype, as well as your PSN account is also available to you. We can select here and go to the VSH menu. CPU clock, the highest overclock is 333 by 166 for both XMB and game. USB devices are pretty much the same. You have the ME driver, Sony, and the M33 driver. He used the M33 driver, as recommended by me. Back colors, you can change them. Um, I know, big whoopty fucking do, right? And then uh, the XMB game and pops plugins you can enable the plugins manager which is right here you can enable and disable plugins at your will from this section of the vsh menu uh, you can enter the recovery menu right in the light flash um, i can't show you the recovery menu um, just because it doesn't go through with the remote joy like it would on god or pro custom firmware but that's pretty much it so everything is you actually pretty much don't have to go into the recovery menu because your plugins are pretty much right here so yeah but anywho so that's that and uh, that's the review on uh, 6.60 custom firmware 1.8 me and uh, all that fun stuff so rate comment subscribe if you wish to install this firmware you can click on the description below um, there will be a link to the video as well as an in a annotation on this video where you can just pretty much click on the video and it'll bring you to that video for installation on this and the installation is for all PSP models so yeah rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter which is at deathrain333 and um, also be sure to check out my website softwarereborn.com so take it easy guys and again if you care to install this um, just go ahead and click it and I will lead you through it so take it easy guys